so yeah, we have our um, bit goal as 525 bits. Once I hit that, I will um, I will do a bonus karaoke session, which um, which aside from the Thursday throwdown, which um, I'm thinking if I do a bonus one, it will be on a weekend, just so we can do like a six-hour stream or something. But that's not the point of today. T today we're playing Octopath Traveler. We've got three of the heroes, and now we're about to hit, or we're about to get hero number four. I'm gonna regret not grinding. Okay, so we've got Hanit, we've got Therian, and Ophelia joined us yesterday. Let's look around town. Oh, I like it. I like it. But let's be a little prudent with that, because we have others to, um, to uh, linen robe. Oh, that would help, um, Ophelia. Yeah, let's get one of those. We'll keep what we have, otherwise. Okay. No. Let's not. Hello there. Yes, I think I now know who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all understand one another. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is Atlas Dam, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies night and day to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft. Certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man. In his shadowy subterranean study, he'll need wise allies on the path he has chosen. Okay. Yeah, let's hear the beginning of his tale, too. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But... There was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about... <laughs> I, um, I think it was... 
Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. <laughs> I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long-forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? Histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Oh, sorry about that. I should have read the script there. Since today's your lucky day, you've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Yay, books! Splendid! Splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste. No, we be exploring this first. Greetings! Not bad, eh? There's stuff down there, but I doubt I can get it now. Thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth of the matter is... If you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! But of course, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm-hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor. It will not take long. 
I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. A very astute question, your highness. However, I fear that the, nearly all the texts detailing the nature of their religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. Huh? I see. A shame, Math. Lost civilizations. The truth. I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that. Oh. Aw. She's feeling a little cuckolded. <laughs> Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With pleasure. No need for apologies. It would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That set questions occur to you as a sign of sharp and curious mind. Why, thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people into a bright future? Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, your highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I'm truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. <laughs> You're far too kind, Professor Albright. I'm proud to be your student. Ah. Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. And Therese heard it all. Ah, Therese. Oh, hello there, Therese. Yes. Did you have a, Did you have a question for me as well? No. I mean, no. Good day, Professor. she goes. Can I go back in the palace? Yes, I can. Let's grab them treasures. Awakening. Inspiriting plum. Feeling great. Yeah, I doubt they're good items. But they'll certainly help. Thunder Soul Stone. What? I just said, boy. Okay. Hello? Okay, we're heading to the academy, right? There's a flower garden in between. Oh. Russell just isn't cut out for that sort of work. What, what, whatever was he... Hmm? Move along now. Okay. We're going in. It's me, Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright, here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Mm-hmm. When I heard that an original copy of The Church of the Flame, A Complete History, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. For someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy. <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> ha 
<laughs> when you put it that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy. I'm titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. God, you remind me of uh, Muriel from um, I see. from Fire Emblem Awakening. Right, the expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. What have we here? Ah, uh -uh, the tome is nowhere to be found. Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm, not here either. An interesting These archives dilemma. are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Professor Albright! Professor Albright, the headmaster would see you at once. <sighs> of all the times to... Oh well. Might I ask of you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing, huh? I'll, look, I'll begin looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. Headmaster Yvonne. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the God's names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone! Hey, Sai! How'd your stream go today? That goes against I saw you were streaming uh, Automata. Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The headmaster sees knowledge as a medal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. Seven hours, nice! My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait. There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Enter. Uh, excuse me. What's the matter? 
Yes, what is it, Therese? Hmm. Uh, um. It's it's about Professor Albright, sir. Oh. Hello there. Sure is. So yeah, now I go back to the library to um, study. Can I help you? A moment of your time. Did you have any luck finding the tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not so. Well, this is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it has been stolen. Actually... Professor, taking books for, out from these archives is strictly forbidden. And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted only to only a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. A hole. An impregnable vault. A disappearing tome. It would seem that we have quite the mystery on our hands. The mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. There is only one truth! Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? Hmm. If it had been stolen, I would say it's a job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you've cracked the case, as it were. Indeed! <laughs> you could say that, indeed. Have it, I just can't seem to break. Once the puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out the solution. I see. Well, far be it from me to stand in your way. It must be tough being a genius. Leave it to me. <laughs> I'll not deny it. Worry not. The tone will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. Something tells me he's going to have to Take use care. brute force, too. Right, thanks. Best of luck in your search. Time to and the game is afoot! Hmm. Now, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to where the keys in the library are, are stored. The guard at the front door would know who has been frequenting the library lately, as might my fellow scholars. Then, mayhap, I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Okay. Let's see now. Of course I've got a key to the archives, and no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes, is all. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome anyway? Okay. Most intriguing. Okay. Maybe this guy knows something. Once in charge of protecting the king, this guard suffered a serious leg injury and was since transferred to a calmer post inside the grounds. But the injury healed long ago. He hasn't mentioned it to anyone. Enjoys the serenity of his new post. A hidden item. Yeah. Let's head back towards the. Um... Actually, let's talk to this guy too. No item or individual that passes through the palace gates escapes this guard's notice. Rumor has it, however, that his dedication is not rooted in any sort of loyalty, but is rather born of the desire to perpetuate and protect his own unscrupulous business of selling trinkets to collectors of royal mementos. Okay. Ah, light soul stone. See another one. Maybe I can't reach it from there. Okay, I probably have to go up. 
Hello there. Sure is rain. So you scrutinize. Born and raised in Atlas Dam, this old widow now visits the place every day in memory of her late husband. Even after she passes, she wishes to be by her husband's side, just like the relief of the king and queen in the Academy's library. Probably for later. Oh, full well I have its key to the special archives and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall in the wrong hands. In any event, I, I have had no reason to peruse these tomes. There's those tomes in quite some time. Okay. Okay, so I think we can eliminate him from suspicion. I think they're both in the library. Okay. The key to the archives? Oh, I haven't got that. I'm not surprised someone stole a tome, considering what they're worth. I have gambling debts myself, so I understand the temptation. Okay, so we have Russell's. Only Headmaster Yvonne and the guard stationed outside should have a key to the library archives. Okay. Splendid! That should be all the information I need to solve the case. Headmaster and the guard. But of course! It all makes sense now. Only two keys to the archives. One belonging to the headmaster, and one to the guardsman. Whose key was used to unlock the archives? The guards. Headmaster keys the safety lock away in his office. Furthermore, he hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting sus suspiciously of late, even sleeping while on active duty. Oh ho! It'd all be too easy to lift the key, a uh, task to lift the key off his person. Is it possible that the guard is our man? Ah, uh, no. No, he would have no motive. The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. Which is to say, one of my colleagues. Yeah, Russell has gambling debt. Most likely one who has accrued a frightful gambling debt. Which means that... Put it all together and our villain is... Russell. Yes. Just Russell. Indubitably, that shifty scholar Russell. Yes, I dare say my logic is foolproof. 
Shall we begin? Now that all that remains is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. But as it be, he's been doing his research underground these days. Yep, there it is. Now then, I think it's time I did some field work of my own. And so I've taken it upon myself to investigate this suspicious scholar. Interested in coming along, are you? Yeah, it seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. But of course mysteries exist only to be solved. After all, it is of utmost importance to remember that. Ah, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ear off, but I'll be glad for your help. Let's get right to business then. No doubt we'll find Russell in his laboratory down below. All right, we got him. We have a party of four. So seven hours of near um, automata. I wish I could finish, get the true ending in three like that one dude and um, game's done quick. Who the crap does their studies down here? No doubt there are enemies about. There we go. True ending in three. Yeah. I'll do my best. Come in, if thou darest. Okay, they're weak to holy. What next? I'll do my best. Cyrus doesn't have much HP. Yeah, let's heal. Actually, no, let's holy. Oh, so luck. Letting my arrow fly in truth. Holding back nothing. Out of my way. Okay. Where's the nearest tavern? All right, he gained two levels on that. If I get good, I should be sub two hours. Nice. On you. For a few of them. I'll not be defeated. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Come in, if thou darest. What next? 
Blast. Oh, nice. Out of my way. And that's that. Oh, Feely almost gained the level. Yeah, I don't mind grinding in here a little. If I have to. There is no choice. I'll not be defeated. Wait, I have two characters whose max HP is 666. <laughs> what kind of sorcery is that? Let in my air. No, this one. Now, what next? Letting my arrow fly in true. Yeah! Yep, my turn. Try this! I will not be defeated. Nice. An interesting dilemma. <laughs> Oh, that didn't get him? <laughs> Letting my arrow fly in true. I honor thee, my coin. Alright, Cyrus level 5, Ophelia level 11. Bad. I probably have to go under. Oh, okay. I've done my research on you. Come in if thou darest. Out of my way. What is the logical course of action? Oh, ice! Here's the proof! Okay, that kind of works too.
This is the beginning of your end. Come in, if thou darest. Missed me. My turn. Touch bonus. Herb of Clamor. I will battle. What next? That's not what I wanted, but okay. I'll do my best. <sighs> oh, ice. Here comes through. Coming. Yeah. I should have done that before, um... Well then. Okay. What is the logical course of action? Okay, got him. Awesome. Thus ends your lesson. My arrow fly and true. I 
I'll not be defeated. Never got a lot of stuff. Let's get Ophelia that level up before we... Yeah, let's get Ophelia the level up before we take on the boss here. Because no doubt that's the boss. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. Come in, if thou darest. Out of my way. Don't wait. Now, what next? I'll not be defeated. Come in, if thou darest. I'll do my best. What is the 
the logical course of action. You should have studied harder. Alright, there we go. Now we're good to go, I think. Check them trips. Okay, let's confront this guy. Hi. Hi, Russell. Uh, uh, what? Professor Albright? Are you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they're working? You Excuse have a weird me. office. My apologies. I would have knocked, but I didn't see a door. A moment of your time. A propos of nothing. I hope you've heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives. <laughs> Having the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now. Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just going to drag this out for the both of us. So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief and I can prove it. <sighs> what the hells you can! The truth is... Unfortunately for you, at precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key... Your friend the guardsman was just waking up from his little slumber. Caught red-handed! <gasps> huh? But that's impossible. He was asleep. I'm positively. Yeah. Oh. Keep up, keeping up on our friend Solemn Nolan. Are we, old chum? Mm. It was a slip of the tongue. I tell you, I know nothing about this god's damn book. Is that so? Figured you'd say as much. Then perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the academy. To prove your innocence, of course. <gasps> He's gonna <laughs> fight. Damn it! Damn it all to hell! It was perfect. It was the perfect plan. Not for your bloody meddling. I could have had it all. My empire of dirt. I will. Ah, oh God, I forgot the line. But I will make you hurt. Oh, we're going right to the fight. Okay. To Weak to lightning, huh? Oh, flames! Rage! Oh, yeah, that works. Out of my way. Letting my arrow fly in true. I'll do my best. Logical course of action. Okay. Over here. I'll do my best. Oh, sacred light. Nope, that didn't work either. 
beginning. Out of my way. Well then, let your wounds be healed. There we go. An interesting dilemma. Oh, I played myself. Let's yeah, I played this. myself. Yeah, they mean business now. Now the true lesson begins. Oh, flames, rage, drop. Letting the hunt begin. Screw you! Oh, ice! Here's some fruit! 
I'll not be defeated. This should help. Hunt beginning. No. What's this now? I'll not be defeated. Let your wounds be healed. Be defeated. <laughs> Let in my air come. Still, my most reliable source of damage is um, on it. Let your Seems wounds like be <laughs> Now, what next? There, got him. Awesome. And this one next. Stone. I swear I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tome would smudge, fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not so. Stealing that tome, you would steal from our students. Something more valuable than all the realm's riches. A grave crime, no matter who would per perpetrate it, but all the uh, more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. I started laughing there because, oh god, I, I just can't think, uh, I can't stop thinking about that Ty Lopez guy. Thank Here you. in my garage, got a Lamborghini. But you know what's more valuable than any... What's worth more than any material possession? Knowledge! Well, I'll be. You actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Indeed. That I did. 
And yet, I fear this may not be the only volume our friend had purloined. <laughs> Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes and revealed the names of his business associates. We only need to track the, down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guards and see that we redouble security of the archives. What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually... Uh, from the far reaches of hell. No, I cannot assure you that he did not. Oh, no, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some two years back. I see. I see. So this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. Red as always, Professor. Hmm. Pray tell me more or pray tell me more about from the far reaches of hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long lost magics. Actually If I'm not mistaken, it was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh-ho! Yet another mystery, it would seem. Professor Albright, the headmaster would speak to you at once. Would speak with you at once. This awesome. Again? What could it be this time? Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. Something tells me that's not the case. So tell me he's gonna get ostracized from this town. I have no interest in getting accolades, but if he insists. I wasn't supposed to go there. I was supposed to go up here. Derp. Okay, let's go talk to the headmaster. Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. What? Oh. And you believe this report, sir? 
If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. <laughs> I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. Yeah, I was right about him getting ostracized. Family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sullied. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an Exile. easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. I said good day, sir! An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. Man, starting as Cyrus is kind of like, um... Kind of like the opening to Final Fantasy IV. You get kicked oh, out of your own, Therese, uh, castle. What is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Then you heard true. P Professor, I'm I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? She be jealous! You're always helping her highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the headmaster. Y yes, but I, I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. A little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? 
For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. Detective Cyrus is on the case. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. So he's book smart, but yeah, he's... Professor, whatever do you... Basically, he's dumb when it comes to... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, <laughs> my dear girl. My studies. I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, may have given the impression that I favored her above you and the others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Yes, if only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. <sighs> um, Professor. Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, he's pretty dumb when it comes that to stuff case, like that. I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. <laughs> yes, professor. Will will I ever see you again? See why not? Provided we both still live. I kind of want to do side quests, but I definitely want to get the next traveler as well. Oh dear, I need to do a lot of um, shopping for this guy. Oh, I like that. speed to be a thing for Hanit. Yeah, we'll put it on Ophelia. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's put that on um, Cyrus. Okay. Yeah, where's the inn? Head out of town. Now, I must find out all I can about you from the far reaches of hell. My erstwhile colleague, Debt, knows more about arcane studies than anyone I know. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. The man in black. And so Cyrus left the academy behind in search of the lost tome from the far reaches of hell. But dark secrets might its pages hold. Only the gods know. 